Hello, I'm Beverly from the Midland Public Library Program Assistant and today on Know Your Local Species we are going to talk about skinks. Did you know there are five lined skink in the Georgian Bay area? Young are black with five creamy or yellow stripes running from the head down the back and a bright blue tail. Young can be small as four to six centimeters which is two inches as they age the background color dulls to brown or gray and the lines to beige adults can reach up to 20 centimeters or 8 inches adult males have a reddish orange snout and jaws rocky areas where cracks offer shelter and nesting sites open wooded areas with ground cover leaf litter rotting logs rocks and brush over winter, an old mammal burrows rotting logs and piles of vegetation from October to April. If a predator grabs a skink by the tail, the tail will disconnect from the skink's body at the weak point along the vertebrae. The tail will flop on the ground, distracted, distracting the predator as the skink finds shelter beneath a shrub or a rock. Males defend territory during breeding season. Females lay an average of nine eggs, about one a month after mating, within rotting logs or under rocks. Females will guard these eggs, but once hatched, no more care is given. They may live up to five years. Threats for skinks in some areas. Collection of pet trade has been an issue. Skinks are vulnerable to changes in their local habitat. For example, the removal of wooded debris or rocks. In the Georgian Bay area, cover rocks, flat, relatively thin, mid-sized rocks, are valuable real estate for skinks. Try to leave these type of rocks in place. Keep your cat indoors for the sake of skinks and other wildlife, particularly on small islands. Cats can eliminate the population of skinks. They like to eat insects, spiders, worms, and snails. I hope you have enjoyed this version of Know Your Local Species. Bye for now.